Hey, Plant Pals, Mike the Kid Gardener, and today's video is, well, it's going to be a cooking video, but I'm going to start off with showing the harvest of my dazzling blue kale. You see how tall the light got? That's how much I harvested off this thing. I got a big bowl full, and because I mentioned that, a friend of mine said they wanted to see what I'm going to cook with it. So, I'm going to go ahead and show that. But I wanted to show the, uh, the plant, what's left of it. Now, I probably could plant that and some more will grow off of it. I'm definitely gonna plant this one just to see if I get, you know, any more of a harvest. This is this little big one that was stunted by the, all the other ones that were covered it. I'm gonna put that into its own area and see if I can get it to uh, grow big. If not, no, no big loss. And like I said, I harvested a ton off this thing. I harvested off of it pretty much every day. I would have snacks. I'm going to clean the system out and I'm going to grow peppers, probably in the one in the office, because my wife said she wants to see them grow, the purple ones, because she thinks they're going to be pretty. So after my chocolate bell peppers are done, I'll probably put that there. But for now, I think in this unit, because people want to know how you can uh, grow radishes, and it's very quick, I can get them in like 20 days. So I'm just going to show how I do radishes in this system really quick. But for now, let's get back to the cooking video. So first I'm going to do is I have a ton of herbs, so I'm going to harvest, collect some herbs to put into my stew, which I'm going to cook. Be right back. I have a ton of oregano and a ton of parsley, so I'm going to harvest some of that. And then I'm going to go over to my basil and harvest some of that. I'll be right back. All right, there is parsley, oregano, and sage. And I've got a ton of basil, the lemon basil I'm going to harvest off of this plant here. So I'll be back. All right. I gave this a good proper haircut. But I still got tons and tons and tons of basil. And then just probably like one or two days, it'll be right back to where it was when I harvested it. And I've got this big plate full. That's all going to go into my stew. I'll be back. <laughs> As a side note, I probably could harvest these squash leaves because they keep trying to reach up and touch the light. I harvested a bunch of tendrils off of it and tried those raw. The tendrils raw taste like uh, snow peas and the leaves cooked are pretty good. They taste, uh, I don't know, it's hard to, hard to, kind of a hard flavor to describe. It's just uh, like any other kind of veggie, <laughs> but they're really good. I liked it. It was just a little butter and garlic. I tried the, the big leaves in. I, and I forgot to record that, but yeah. This thing is just growing like a monster. And you can see all these tendrils. Every once in a while, I'll just pull one of the tendrils off and just nibble on it. It's pretty good. It tastes like snow pea. Anyway, I'm not going to use that now because I've got uh, tons of other things for my stew. But just a uh, little side note that this is kind of a cool little snack. Pretty cool. Be right back. All right, so I've got myself some peppers, I got some onion, I got some celery, none of which I've grown myself yet, because uh, I had that reset, but I will be growing, try to grow all this stuff outside in the, in the summer, so that'll be cool, some mushrooms. I de definitely eventually want to try to grow mushrooms inside. Uh, there is my kale, so let me, this is my, <laughs> my herbs. And I've got some garlic and some uh, butter and the, the beef and some beef stock. And this are those are turnip tops. And I'm going to show this giant bowl of kale. So that's all the kale. All right, so let me put it in the light here so you can see. Let's set it down here. But yeah, it's a big, delicious bowl of kale. And there's no herbicides, pesticides, or anything on it. It's something I grew myself inside. And there's no pests or anything on it, so it's good to go. So yeah, so I'm going to basically get the onions and celery and the peppers chopped up and going, and the garlic. I'll add the mushrooms, I'll chop up the beef, and add the beef, and then I will put the greens into the pot and put enough uh, broth to kind of get it simmering and that will be my uh, stew. Very simple. 
I make lots of stews because in the wintertime they're warming, filling, and they're easy. And uh, <laughs> I wasn't going to even show this, but like I said, a friend said they wanted to see, so there you go. I will show it. I'll be back. All right, I got the onions sweating down. I need some two pots, so it'll be a little bit easier to manage. Got my herbs chopped. Got my mushrooms ready to go. I got my my kale hand torn down. There's my beef. I'm gonna chop that up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the herbs and put them in with the uh, kale, so I have room to chop the beef. I'll get the beef cooking, and then I'll add the uh, mushrooms and everything else and broth and let it simmer. So I don't need to show you all that because it's <laughs> not that uh, complicated. And I'll be back. Oh, I did want to say quick that I've been saving these mushroom containers because they're the perfect size to uh, put some cocoa core perlite and vermiculite in there and grow some uh, microgreens. So I'll be showing that later. After I clean them out, of course, I grow microgreens in them. But that's for another time. All right, here's the end result. Well, end result that I'm going to show because I'm going to let it uh, stew on the stove for a while longer so the meat gets totally tender. Although I have been sneaking a taste <laughs> as it's been going, it's really delicious. Yeah, so I'll have uh, food for me and my wife all week. So that's awesome. So that's my kale and turnip tops beef stew with my herbs that I've been growing inside. So I'm quite pleased with it. It's really delicious. My wife said it was delicious too, so that's awesome. I'm going to get myself another bowl. And uh, she's not much of a for, for eating beef, so she's going to uh, wait for it to uh, me to get more tender and kind of stew longer. But I'm going to grab myself a bowl now because I'm hungry. <laughs> All right. Any comments, questions in the comment section? Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Have an awesome day.